Good morning, good afternoon. Hello, everyone, and you are very welcome to the Deep Life Bible Church YouTube channel. Do we need to ask for advice from anyone before we go into marriage? This is the topic for us today. On this channel, we talk about faith. We talk about Christian relationship, how to court efficiently, how to prepare for a godly, healthy, and successful marriage, and many more. So if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe and be part of our family. We are also on Facebook as a group and as a page under the same name. Hmm. There's a lot going on there. Do not miss out on the questions, answers, comments from members and mentors. I'll put the link below this video. So do well to also follow us on Instagram at DLBC Singles. <laughs> to all members of this blessed family and all our subscribers, you are highly welcome again. We're very happy to see you. First, before we go on with the topic of today, I'd, write, I'd like to read to you a verse from the scripture. It's actually, you have a, a whole chapter to read if you want to know more about the story. Uh, the verse we're reading is, is found in 2 Samuel chapter 5 from verse 19. And David inquired of the Lord saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into mine hand? And the Lord said unto David, go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. David here was consulting with the Lord. He had a very big challenge before him and so he asked the Lord, should I go up and fight this people? You know, in, this, in the world today, we have consultants. And consultants are usually uh, people or somebody is a consultant when this person has proved uh, through his experience, his wild, wide range of experience that he knows what he's doing. They know what they're doing. And if you're willing, they usually will ask for a fee and they will share their insights and they will tell you all that you need if you're looking for help about any topic. You can consult about starting a business, you can consult about traveling, immigration, you can consult about um, virtually anything, a career, um, career prospect, like anything at all. You, you find consultants that can help you in any of these areas. And these people are more experienced. They have experience, they have insights, they know, they've, they've had lots of stories and situations that they've handled. But much more, God is the greatest consultant that anybody can ever have. He's more experienced. He has more insight than any human consultant can ever have. That's the kind of God that we serve. The Lord's credentials are impeccable. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He's the one who created you. He is anxious to be consulted. He wants you to ask him questions. He is ready and willing to help you with any of your questions. And he's always available to offer insights to his children, free of charge. You don't have to pay like the consultants that we have nowadays, but you have to pay a fee to get service, consulting service. God does it for you for free. But sadly today you see that God is not consulted. People are not asking God for advice about things that they should do. They don't ask him, they don't seek for his face. They don't try to find out like, how can I get direction especially in the area of marriage. But David was too smart. David was smart, a very smart young boy. From when he was young, 
he was too smart to make such a mistake of going to battle without asking for God's advice, what God thought about it. The Philistines were there. They, were, they heard that David became the king now, and they felt now is the time to attack him. We need to take a hold of, 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 of David. After all, David has gone to them for help several times before. So they thought they had him at the tip of their fingers, that they could just manipulate him. And they, they, they knew that at least being a king, he was going to defend his country now. So they had to get ready. They got soldiers, they get, got their army ready, and they were going to fight. Don't forget that David, David was a king that was not a stranger to battles. He's gone many times to battle with, with the, the, the army of Israel on behalf of Saul. He killed Goliath after all. This is how experienced he was. So why didn't David say, you know what? I've done this before. I think I'm good and just training himself and go into some practice and just off he goes to war. David didn't do that. He had all the military action he needed. He had everything experience that he, he could muster, but David, in spite of the courage he had to go and fight the Philistine, the great Goliath, as a boy, talk less of him as a man now, David did not depend on his own understanding. He did not depend on his experience. He did not depend on his know-how. David thought it wise to go to God for advice. David was smart enough to know that he needed more than all these things that I've mentioned. He needed divine guidance. And that was the kind of what wisdom that David displayed. As young people today, you're seeking to know the will of God in marriage. You don't know this person, you don't know tomorrow. It's wise to go to the one who knows tomorrow, the one who controls our life, the one who knows the best for you, for me and ask for guidance, ask for direction, like David did. He said, should I go? He didn't just come to inform the Lord. He didn't just come to say, God, there is a battle and I'll be going on Sunday just to let you know, buddy. David did not do that. David consulted. David came to the Lord and said, should I go? Would you give me the victory? Would you hand them over to me? Those were the questions, wise questions. You can see some, emo, some, emo, some, some intelligence there. As young people, we need, we need spiritual intelligence. We need emotional intelligence. But God is the one that sees everything. He knows everything. He's the best guide. He knows every man. The Bible said, if you lack wisdom, you should ask of God and he will give you enough wisdom. Go to God and ask him, Lord, should I marry this man? Should I marry this woman? Many people have stumbled at this point. They've gone to only inform God. They've gone to, to God with their own idol in their heart. They've gone to God with their fears, their fear, their concern, their trouble, their, their, their impatience, their own imagination. They've stumbled at this point. Some people are so confident, they're so overconfident, they're so self-confident, and they do not wish to consult the Lord, while others do not know how to talk to God. They don't even know how to ask him for help. They trust in their own instincts. Some people, they trust in, oh no, I've never failed in this kind of things before. I have a lot of intuition. I know what's best, I know what to do. When I come to this kind of things, I know how to, to sort myself out. They depended on their own expertise rather than the Lord. And also, they make their decisions, personal decisions on their own. And what has it led them to? Lots of problems, lots of headaches. They do not realize that the Lord is the one who knows the best for them. And he's eager. Not only does he know, he is willing to hold your hands 
to guide you, to lead you. He's eager to work in their lives. He's eager to work with them. He's eager to solve their marital problems. He's eager to bring them to a, a place of peace, a home of joy, a home of happiness. He is eager. So these people have gone astray because they have made the wrong step. They started on a wrong note. But I want to advise you today that the key, the key to avoiding problems is to consult the Lord. How do you consult the Lord? How do you go about this? I don't know, I don't know, how do I do this? David's methods are very easy. He went to the Lord, he prayed, he asked the Lord for guidance. He went to Asiya, he could have gone to Asiya, he could have gone through the Urim, he could have used any of those things that people use to consult the Lord. But David's method was straightforward and simple. We can follow his example. He went to the Lord and he talked to him directly. He asked him, will you bring these people? Will you give me the victory? Simple prayer, not difficult. He just asked the Lord, can I go ahead with this battle? Can I go ahead with this marriage? Should I marry this person that is coming to my mind? This person that is dropping on my heart. This person that I love, is this real love? Is this a love that will carry me through to the end of time? Remember that God is the one who knows tomorrow from today. He knows everyone. We can bring our choices to the Lord in prayer and ask for his, ask him, Lord, I just feel that I'm, I feel led to this person. What do you think? Am I doing the right thing? I'm willing to be flexible in your hands. I just want to do your will. Bring your choices to the Lord in prayer. Read the Bible. God speaks to his children through the Bible. Read the word of God and God will guide you. Show me the way that I should go. Lord, direct my path. Ask God for leading. Ask him through his word. Ask him as you pray and meditate on the word of God and leave yourself in the hands of God. And also don't forget, your pastors and your leaders can be very wise, good counselors for you. They are wise counselors. Remember that you should listen to counsel of wise people, leaders, people who can serve as your guides, Christian leaders, pastors. And some of us have Christian parents that will say some few words to us. And those words are enough to tell us that we are going the wrong way, that we are on the, long, on the wrong path. Let's use our God-given reasoning capabilities. Let's be wise. Let's be wise. The Bible says we should be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Be wise when you, you feel a knack in your spirit. You feel it that, no, this is danger. You have danger signs and signals. Be wise to run away. Don't neglect your God-given reasoning capabilities. When you think this person was a Christian and all of a sudden he starts talking in a way that by their fruits you shall know them, you, you should know that, oh, oh, I think I need to run now. I think I'm on the wrong path. I think I thought that I was led. Don't be ashamed to retrieve your steps. Long story short, remember that we should ask God all the time, every step of the way. Remember that you should consult from the Lord and the Lord can help us. Even if we are making the wrong decision, the Lord can lead us. He can help us to retrace our step. He can give us the grace to pull out of that wrong relationship. There is nothing that is more comforting, nothing at all on this earth, nothing more comforting than knowing that we can bring our decisions to the Lord that we can bring our problems to the Lord. We can bring our questions to the Lord. We can bring, come to the decision table, to the place of decision and say, God, I'm almost making a decision, but I need your help. There's nothing more comforting than having the God of the whole universe, the God of the whole world, the one that sits 
in heaven and the earth is his footstool. There is nothing more comforting than having this, this celestial father as your guide, as the one that holds your hand, knowing that he is in charge. He is in charge and he's leading us through, through to our blessed home, through his spirit, by the help of the Holy Spirit, guiding us and leading us. I pray that the Lord will help us not to be overcome by, by emotions, not to be overcome by anything, our thoughts, our wisdom, our personal understanding, our personal know-how, our experiences, that we will not depend on any of these things, but our total dependence will be on God as we go through these steps of getting married. And even after our marriage, that we always remember that there is a God who is always willing to help us always willing to hold us in his hands. May the Lord give us an answer of peace. Don't forget that I'm praying for you. And we have a lot of mentors, pastors, leaders on the group and on the page who are also praying for you. Your pastors in church, we all want you to marry well. Your parents, all of us, you matter to us. And the Lord will guide you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Goodbye.